angry guy here, and most women hate men. Most women hate men, you know, it's something that we don't talk about enough, but it's the, it's true. If you look at how women talk about men in Western society, how women treat men in Western society, most women hate men. Most women do not like men. They don't like men. They don't want men to be around them. They would prefer a society where they could walk about, do whatever they want, and basically men would just be somewhere in the background to clean up their messes whenever they so deem it. You know, most men, most women today, they just enjoy torturing men. They enjoy torturing men. They enjoy seeing men miserable. They, en they enjoy destroying the lives of men. They, I mean, they don't, most women don't want men to exist or they view a man's existence as solely there to entertain them and to be tortured by them. And, it, and it's it's the honest and goodness truth. If you look at what's happening, that's the reason why men are completely walking out of society. And there's some of you are who are a little bit crazy. I'm going to be honest. Some of you are a bit crazy because, like, you talk about spending, like, extravagant amounts of money to do things. Like, I remember somebody said in the comments, like, you know, like to like like a video, like video, video game set up in a gaming chair and a, a gaming PC. Like, it's just, it's, it's just a couple thousand dollars. And I said, I thought to myself, Bro, you are delusional. You are absolutely delusional. Like, I, you know, I, I went online and I looked it up. And I was like, well, maybe if you go and you pick up like a PlayStation 5 and, uh, you know, like you, like you spend like a, a good amount of money, like a, maybe $2,000 on a gaming PC and, uh, you know, and a couple and like $600 on a gaming chair and then like, and then like, you know, then and then, you know, a PlayStation 5, $500 on a PlayStation 5. Then yeah, then you could be looking at like maybe three thousand dollars, but the average guy isn't spending that kind of money. The average guy is not spending that kind of money. Like I mean, guys, like you know, right now I'm using, right now I have a, I'm using a MacBook Pro that I basically just bought off eBay. This is a sixteen, this is a fifteen inch, sixteen gigabyte MacBook Pro. This thing's unbelievable. Bought this thing off eBay. For 130 bucks, this is a retina display, retina display, and I'm just like it's a it's a beast, and you know the, the this is kind of like how the the average guy is not going to throw away tons and tons of money unnecessary unnecessarily. We are by nature we are minimalist, you know by nature we are we are minimalist, and I, I'm just like thinking to myself like the average man is like is not wasting this kind of money. You know, like like some guys are gonna pick up a will pick up a PlayStation Five, and you know a nice television, and that's kind of it. But most men are kind of like most men don't want a lot of garbage in their lives. They don't want to have a ton of things. Like a lot of guys are more than happy with a Nintendo Switch and a backpack. Like I'm just so being so real. There's so many dudes that are walking around. They have a sleeping bag. Some of them don't even have. Some of them don't even carry a sleeping bag around with them. But there's some guys like they have a they have a backpack, a sleeping bag, and in that backpack you will find maybe maybe a laptop. Some of them don't even have a laptop; they have a cell phone, and they may have a Nintendo Switch in there. Maybe uh, most guys are just most men are minimalist, you know. So there's so many guys who are like they have a they like they have a, they're renting a are they even are they're renting or they own they own a condo or whatever, and they don't even sleep on the they sleep on the floor. You know, like men are, are extraordinary minimalist. Men are extraordinary minimalist. The average guys are like, I like, I like, I, like, I'm not spending this kind of money on certain things, you know? Guys, let's check out this comment. Buy shopping, buy shop. So, this was a comment on men are staying home and avoiding women. Buy shopping, Craigslist. See, see what I'm talking about? Exactly. This is what I'm talking about. Like, like I'm not spending this kind of freaking money. By shopping Craigslist, I outfitted a nice gym. At home for only $85. Most of the items were free. I only have to go out to shop once or twice a week. I am retired and just take it easy or cut firewood. My wife passed away six years ago, but I have no interest in getting involved with another woman. Good luck, Rick. 
and some guy said, you know, and his name is Rick, and s- someone responded, nice, secondhand shopping is the best. Guys, like, like, like some of y'all are crazy. Some of you, some of y'all are crazy. But because because there's a lot of guys who just say in the comments like you're not spending that kind of money, like I'm not spending this kind of non like like some of y'all are, are are like I don't know if you're trying to be like like the Joneses or whatever because the average man is not spending that kind of money like you know like I like I I love the whole secondhand market thing guys we're men it's like it just hit me like one day like oh my gosh oh yeah I'm a man I can just fix things like I can literally just fix things like guys like I I have a like I said, I have a MacBook Pro that this thing is like a, this thing is like a, when it first came out, this was probably around maybe two to $3,000. Like the Mac, like the device I'm on right now is probably around two to $3,000. This thing is insanely premium, insanely premium. And I picked it up for like $130 and I repaired it. I got it for 130 and it was, there were, there were, there were a couple of things wrong with it and I repaired it, you know? I, I I literally repaired it, you know, got like purchased a new adopter for it, you know, re uh, updated the updated systems that were not working on it, fixed a variety of things. And now it's, and now it is an absolute beast for 130 bucks. And I put maybe between like parts and parts, parts, maybe around uh, 30, $30, maybe $30 in parts. So, yeah, this thing's like 160 bucks. 160 bucks for a like three thousand dollar device. And this is the thing. This this is this is the thing about us as men. Like we can fix things. We can we can and we don't need a we do not need a lot to survive. You know, like we have we lit we can live in surplus because you know we are minimalist by nature. Women have all this useless garbage that they absolutely don't need. And it, it just, it just cut, like, it's convoluted. Like, for example, you know, a woman will have dresses that she never wears, shoes that she never wears, or she's only worn it one time. You know, for, for, for most women, they have these clothes, cl- cl- closets filled with stuff. And the thing is, like, as soon as they order, they purchase these things, within a couple of months, it's, it's done. Like, it's out of season. So, like, you know, for example, this is how things, clothing works with women. They go by seasons. So... A dress that was like, you know, selling for like $300 or even a pair of shoes that were selling for like a hundred, for like a thousand dollars. This pair of shoes is no longer worth zip. Like it's literally like it was a thousand dollars. Women spend a thousand dollars on shoes. Like a lot of y'all think like, oh, I have a pair of Air Force Ones that I dropped like, like $300, $400 on. Bro, a woman will spend $1,200 on a pair of he, you know, it's just crazy. It it is it is absolutely crazy that men that any that any man would waste you know this type of crazy insane insane amounts of money the way women do. I mean, like a woman will spend twelve hundred dollars on a pair of pumps that she's only worn one time, and she'll say that it was worth it. Like, oh, I've only worn it one time, and I'm never going to wear it again. It's out of season, but it was absolutely worth it. And you know the thing is, when women end up going homeless, when they end up losing everything, all their stuff gets thrown in the trash. All those, you know, like they could have a closet full of twenty thousand dollars worth of stuff, but it's not worth anything to anyone, and it all goes in the junk. It all goes in the trash. It all goes in the trash. Of course, there are people who like resell stuff online, but it, it, it's only going to sell for a few dollars if they can at best, you know. But it, it, it's just sad. It's just absolutely sad. But that's the that's the ultimate reality of life when it comes to women. Modern women, you know, they spend ridiculously, and they and mo- and most women hate men because they tr- look at the way that women treat men in Western society. They make it very clear they don't like you, and even if they act like they like you, the moment that they can just turn it, they can retroactively withdraw that. Guys, it's it's a pointless endeavor. There's a reason why men are just getting up and said fed up and throwing their hands up and saying, you know what, I'm done. I'm done with Western society. I'm done with relations with Western society. I don't want to be bothered anymore. I just want my peace. Or I want to focus on myself, my relationship with God, my family. And I'm just going to walk away, you know, because it's it's not worth it. The juice is not worth the squeeze. It never was worth the squeeze, for, you know, for some, you know, for the used up golden V. 
Like, why would anyone want to put themselves in that situation? Why would anyone want to jump into a relationship with someone who does not even like you and does not even want to genuinely be in a relationship with you? I mean, the, the average woman views the average man in a very negative way. And it's like, as men, it's like, it's enough, is enough. And it's not, and then, you know, have, you have these guys overseas that are worshiping these Filipinas, which just pisses me off even more because these guys are absolutely dangerous, absolutely dangerous. It's great that you found someone that you're, that you're having a good relationship with, but stop acting like they are, like they are unicorns because these men truly believe that these Filipinas are unicorns. They believe that these, and they worship them. They absolutely worship the ground that they walk upon. And they will try to shame you because you would, you refuse to worship a woman. Like, guys, this is, this is another reason why men just don't deal with other men. Because these guys are dangerous. These guys are dangerous. They're simps. The simp is a disgusting creature. And they'll try to lecture you like something is wrong with you because you won't worship. Like, bro, I worship God. I do not worship women. But it is, enough is enough. Guys, let me know what you think regarding all of this. If you're enjoying the content, go ahead and hit the like button. Turn on notifications. If there's another video again, I like the video because it tells YouTube you're enjoying the content and you want to see more of it. So YouTube will show you more of it. Most women hate men. Let me know your thoughts and let's talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA. I'm walking away. And cheers.